Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama, your favorite realtor and mobile. Uh, when you look at Zillow and Realtor.com and the different properties, there is always a button that says video tour. And a lot of times people think that if they click it, they will have instant video tour. Uh, most of the time that's not the case. Most of the time agent has to make video tour for you. It means make, agent has to take time, go to the property and do two things. Make a video of that property and give it to you, you know, via YouTube or, some, or, or via WhatsApp app. WhatsApp app is very good to share videos. Or they have to FaceTime you. Um, when you, they FaceTiming you, you ask them questions, in which direction to point camera, phone, and then you don't have this. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you house as an example of video tour. I saw, when I sell house to my out-of-state buyers, uh, Russian-speaking or English-speaking people, uh, first of all, I make sure they qualified. I ask them to send me their driver's license and the pre-approval letter. So before I run around making videos, I, re I realize I have to understand this person is pre-approved. Uh, he wants to work with me. I can help him. And uh, I want to make sure I can answer all his questions and know what he's looking for. So I'm not advertising the house you're gonna see, it's already sold. But, and I'm not gonna show the address or the agent or not, none of that. We're not talking about uh, selling real estate right now. We're gonna talk about how I show you the property and what I say about it. So pretty much it's a little educational for you. And how I see, you know, the world. world. Um, okay? Hello, this is Oksana, your favorite realtor in Alabama. Uh, we're gonna do a video tour of a really cool house in Westmobile. Let's go. That it's on cul-de-sac. Uh, you can put basketball pole here. And our children from the neighborhood will be drawn to play with your children basketball. Perfect. And houses are here, uh, brick homes. Brick homes, stucco homes. Okay, this is how house looks close by, close up. This is how it's gonna look like if somebody standing in the front porch. If you standing in the front porch, the columns, vinyl siding, front door. Okay, uh, as you see, the front door has a kick plate and um, tile in a foyer. This is a foyer and tall ceilings. And when you enter, you see two rooms on sides. Left would be considered a dining area where you put your china cabinet and a big table and some decor. That's cute, by the way. Um, and uh, another, like a family room. You can put your, like, piano over here. So, see, they have their piano here. It's pretty spacious. And uh, it could be set up as an office, too, because you can close those doors. So, this area has... Uh, both areas have carpet. And... Uh, it's not new carpet, you probably would want to replace it uh, when if you buy this house. So I like this floor, this looks like a dark, dark flooring. Tall tray ceilings, let's see. And they have this can light. So I walked from over there, this is a living room. Uh, you have a fireplace and built-in shelving. Kitchen has an eating area for your breakfast. A 
as you can see, these uh, countertops are not granite for mica. And the uh, kitchen cabinets, a beautiful color. We call it antique white or elephant bone. And uh, this would be pantry. Pantry is small. And this is how you can see the foyer, the dining room. Another great feature of this house is a split uh, floor plan where you have two bedrooms on one side and two bedrooms on another. Let's check it out. So, from a kitchen and living room, you can walk by this tile flooring uh, and see the laundry room. Laundry room has uh, two cabinets, washer and dryer, and this is a garage. Okay, garage. All right. And we're gonna check two bedrooms. Bedroom number one, I see two windows, smooth ceilings. It has space for two twin beds. Very cute antique lamp. TV, dresser. Would be good for two twin girls. Huh. Okay. Uh, whole bathroom. So this is a whole, whole bathroom, I would call. Uh, one sink. Mirror, pretty big one. And the separate area where is toilet and the tub. And you have a cabinet in front of, above the toilet and the light over the way, which is nice. And this is cultural, cultural marble. Okay, there is another bedroom which has two windows and pay attention here some windows are very like very big they almost to the floor and uh, you have place for like big bed queen size for example and tables now we're gonna view living room from this corner Make few steps back and uh, check out these uh, bedrooms. Bedroom on the right has like uh, one window and a uh, queen size bed fits. Okay. Yes, rooms are not small. Smooth ceilings and ceiling fans. We do use ceiling fans in bedrooms because it gets too, too hot in the summer. And, uh, it saves on AC bill if you have um, ceiling fans. This is very cute uh, small bathroom with cute wallpaper. Uh, okay. And it's clean, super clean. Almost fell. Okay. And this is, uh, I assume, a master bedroom. It's very big and it has uh, also two windows, smooth ceilings and a ceiling fan. Nice a master bathroom with garden top jacuzzi. And two sinks. A little rusty, but you can replace fixtures. You just don't call a plumber, you call a local handyman, I'll give you the number. I have all the good contractors who not gonna screw you and go a good job. Okay, this is good for your stuff. So. This is nice window and nice blinds, uh, and I assume this is uh, 
closet. Okay, closet is pretty spacious. It has space for clothes and baskets and shoes. Yes, good size closet. Okay. Now we're stepping into this little paradise. Uh, I just love these plants. Uh, I love plants. I have a bunch of plants too. So we are stepping out to a deck. To a deck where it looks like people were doing grilling. And pool area. There are companies which in your pool come once a week and they're gonna charge you like 200 a month. The roof doesn't look old and bad. The flooring is sturdy. Looks like they did enjoy their uh, their stuff. They enjoyed their garden, and they have several good plants. This is a fig tree. And those are baby figs. I don't know if you like figs, I do. Mature fig tree is an awesome thing to have. The fence just looks so old, but you can power wash it. And I, I um, tell you, you should just stain it in a house color. I can send you a contractor who can stain it. This is another fig tree. So yeah, looks nice. And I just like this, how they had this landscaped, beautifully landscaped and all kinds of different flowers to enjoy. This plant is called Amaryllis. It blooms in the spring. I had that too. Those are plants will bloom. You have to cut it so they don't grow too big. Yes, nice yard and it's enough place for dog to run around and for kids. You can put playground there or trampoline over where I see some very nice area where trampoline can just be wonderful. It looks like they, were, they had like roses and hydrogenias. Yeah, you can have vegetable garden if you want because there is enough sun, there is enough sun to have vegetable garden. Nobody gonna tell you you cannot have it. In Westmobile, they don't care. Uh, neighbors have beautiful magnolia tree, and these people have magnolia tree. I would suggest to cut it off. You don't want it too close to your house. It's just gonna get really big, and it's gonna just drop leaves, and you'll get tired of cleaning them. This is like a, some Christmas tree, humongous one. There is another fig tree. Love it. Love the backyard. So, I see. This is a gate to the other side where uh, they have the garage. You can like come here, park to the garage. Yes. Bushes. And poor baby. Oh, look at that. Did you see that cute lizard? Mm. <coughs> okay. Yes, I have some pretty good pots and plants. So as you can see, we are finishing up our tour, and uh, rose bushes, huge, almost new, uh, AC, and some people looking at the house. To everybody wants it. Alabama is 70% of forest. It's very green and Mobile is very green city. I'm going to slowly drive in this particular subdivision that more people want to look at the house. Mm. 
you see very green green streets we call this climate subtropic climate and uh, all kinds of plants grow here lemon trees orange trees uh, different types of palms fig trees we have here persimmon trees apple pear grow good blueberry bushes blackberry bushes raspberry so it's up to you if you want to grow anything i personally have like cucumbers i planted and bell peppers so um uh, closest beach to this area is not a mexican gulf closest beach to this area is a lake in mississippi where people go if they want to go swim they go on a lake with boats they can bring all kinds of things um 